So here we are looking at the creation of my air box that interfaces with the snorkel. Those of you that haven't seen that whole series, go see it. You'll see lots of stuff in here. They obviously had to pull the whole thing out and break the seal, so I've got to redo a lot of that. I thought my hole was going to be a lot bigger because they obviously they cut when they did solid axle swap. They cut there just to be able to get that shock tower up in there, the coil. It's a lot smaller than I thought, so I don't have as much work to do to seal this up as I, I was thinking I would. Should be fairly simple to do. All I've got to do is cut myself a triangle about like that and glue it in on this side and then uh, seal it up. I don't think there's much to show about that, but figured I'd record it and mention it that that's, that's what I'm going to do. Otherwise, I'm cleaning the. You can see how much dust is in here. Quite a few desert trips. I'm cleaning the filter itself, going to re-oil it, just using standard can -in products and processes. And after that, we'll see what else I can get into today. Alright, so that's done. Labor intensive, time intensive, but it's done. All cleaned up, all oiled, that patch is done. New silicone put on everywhere. It's about as sealed as it can be except for back here. I still haven't figured out a boot solution for that yet. I've tried several different things. I need to find something eventually one day. But it's decently sealed from all the dust and the elements that could get up in here. Now on to the other thing I want to do today. And this is one of three that I'm trying to get accomplished today. So one of the biggest things that's kind of a risk to these, these axles as you're coming up and over rocks and things is slamming into your pinion, to the U-joints and all of that. So, Rough Stuff Specialties makes this huge chunk of 3 8 inch steel. That quarter there, 3 8 the flange is like 3 8 Heavy, huge, but it should take the hit. So what I need to do is remove my drive shaft, remove all of those bolts, slip it over. I tend to think those bolts are not going to be long enough, so I do have longer bolts that I'm going to use for it. But yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do, and then it gives me that skid plate basically for the U-joint and the drive shaft and the pinion. Should keep all of that nice and safe. I hesitate to say simple install, who knows what I'm about to get into, because I haven't done this before. We're about to find out. That answers that. Loctite on it. That answers that a lot. The guys at Rough Stuff said inch and three quarter long bolts. Yep. These wouldn't have been long enough. This is going to be fun. Six of them. Okay, I'm going to leave that for a minute and get back to this. I wanted to just see what that size is compared to the ones I did get. So, let's get back to this, get to the drive shaft. Okay, so this has a slip yoke, so I can pull that all the way out of the way. Be very careful with your end caps. You don't want those coming apart. You don't want to lose your needle bearings. I think I'm in a good position. Yep, I can set it right back down. It's on one of the ears, not the caps. That'll be fine if I'm right about how this is installed. It will just fit right over that. Except for this. I might not be as right as I thought. So it slip over that, but that's got some sort of balancing weight on it. I don't know how to get around that. So, just notched it back here. 
So to slide past this balancing weight that's right there, then I'll be able to slip it on, bolt it back up. That air powered die grinder is one of my favorite tools that came in that whole kit. Because now I've got a notch, I'm good to go. So now I just need to get these bolts all out. Slap this thing on and get the new bolts in. That's simple, right? Let's find out. There's the fun thing. 7 16th by 14 thread. These are all I could get in a decent strength without going to somewhere like Fastenal or somewhere like that, one of the specialty stores. I'm sure go ahead and argue with me that I should have done exactly that, but I do what I do. You do what you do. Get all of that lined up. Brake cable and all. I need a better angle. What's really gonna suck is that's the wrong thread. Threads match. So I just need to be careful not to cross thread, I guess. There we go, yeah. Get it fully seated, that helps. Alright, so the bottom one's not that bad for getting out. Luckily, I have more room to stand up over here on this side. Oh, mufflers aren't in the way. Very sharp rocks. That right, last one. That's one to be on the difficult side. So, yeah, I am doing belt and suspenders with. Split washers and running split washers and Loctite, but not a part I want coming undone. Oh, yeah, that was prophetic. There. It would be nice if the threads would just go in, but I think they're boogered up with the Loctite that was in there from the recent axle. Rebuild. Well, the center anyway for the locker and the gears. So those knurls, I'm just using this set of pliers to turn it gently. Try to get to a point. Get that in there. I'm not going to drive too hard with this little thing. That's meant for doing freaking carpentry, not for mechanics. A little piece of bronze tube. Crank it down to it's snug. Probably do a star pattern on these. Uh, 
I think they're all snug pretty well. I'm just gonna put the drive shaft back on. And that should be fun. I don't know how well I can get a wrench in past this. I'm about to find out. Interesting. So this is one of the greasable ones. I've heard plenty of guys complain they don't like the greasable ones because they're supposedly not as strong. So I don't know. Shake that around. Run them down by hand. Much as I can anyway, those are tight. When you're putting U straps and things like that on there, you want to go as like U bolts and everything else, you want to go as equally as you can. They do have a point where they contact with the actual flange, and there's not much else you're gonna do about it. These are something I never put Loctite on. I just run them down as tight as I can by hand. There's not going to be a lot of turn in here with that one. Dang it. Just enough clearance. Just enough to get a wrench in there. Oh, what fun. All right, there we go, it's in. Everything's ugga dugga down tight. Using German torque specs, which is guten tight. Lock thread on the, the main bolts there. The strap bolts for the, the U-joint, I just get those as tight as I can get with a wrench. But otherwise, there it is. Nice pinion guard on there. Should make me feel a little bit better about going over things. First piece of non-factory armor to go on here. Probably an important one. Simple little install basically. Well yeah, stay tuned for the next armors that get uh, put on underneath here. Come this far, hope it did you some good. You can see how easy this is to actually install. We'll catch you on the next one.